Today we'll be talking about the A100, NVIDIA's new supercomputer graphics card. We're taking a look at the price, the new features and the companies that are going to be using it. Hey guys, Craig from Server Factory here. About two months ago, NVIDIA announced the A100 graphics card. This card is a successor to the Tesla V100, which quickly became the go-to GPU for high performance computing and AI research. It's packing 54 billion transistors, which is the most ever seen in a graphics card, and it's set to be the company's first venture into the seven nanometer process. To illustrate how far these supercomputer GPUs have come, we need to look at some numbers. The first Tesla card came out back in 2007. It had 128 cuticles, cores, 1.5 gigabytes of memory, and performed at 0.3 teflops. Previously, the most recent card, the V100, has 5,120 cuticles, cores, 32 gigabytes of memory, and performs at 15.7 teflops. And now, 13 years after the original, the new A100 has 6,912 cuticles, cores, 40 gigabytes of memory, and performs at 19.5 teflops. A good way to sum that up is just about every stat on the A100 is an increase compared to the V100, in the same way that the V100 stats increase compared to the P100. Another big improvement that the A100 brings is a new version of NVIDIA's hugely useful NVLink bridge. This is a physical bridge similar to the SLI that connects cards together to allow direct GPU to GPU communication. The new version allows a total of up to 600 gigabytes a second interconnect speed on each card, which is twice as fast as the previous version. An even bigger feature and one that is completely new is multi-instant GPU virtualization, or MIG for short. MIG allows you to partition the GPU into up to seven virtual GPUs, which can each be put up to a different task. For example, you can now have one GPU powering cloud gaming, AI learning, analytics, scientific experiments, mass equations, 5G networks, and animation. This is a really cool feature that gives you a lot of flexibility, especially for users that aren't planning on building a supercomputer, but just need several different tasks running at once. So these GPUs were announced a couple of months ago now, and since then a number of companies have made announcements about how they'll be using them. Supermicro have announced their full support along with two new systems based around the A100, a 2U server and a 4U server both using AMD EPIC processors. We wrote a blog about this recently, so if you're interested in it, then check it out in the description below. Other companies that have announced their support as well as new A100 systems include Dell, HPE, Asus, Fujitsu and Gigabyte. And just this month, Google Cloud have announced that they've upgraded their systems with the GPUs and they're now fully operational. If you're a Google Cloud user, this is going to mean much faster services and a lot of extra power at your disposal. So now let's take a look at NVIDIA's competition. The high performance computing GPU market doesn't have the same level of competition that the gaming GPU market or the CPU market have. NVIDIA currently holds somewhere around 70% of the market with AMD holding around 20% and the rest being Intel and other companies. AMD's equivalent, the Radeon Instinct MI50, hasn't been as widely adopted as NVIDIA's offerings and is only really seen in Gigabyte servers along with some other brands. However, like most of AMD's products, these offer solid performance at lower price points. On the other hand, the price of NVIDIA's HPC cards has always been a big point of contention. This is because the company doesn't provide list prices for their Tesla line, which has caused pricing to creep up and up, pushed by the crypto mining boom a few years ago. This has led to the starting price point for the Tesla line going from around $5,000 for the P100 to around $10,000 for the V100. So how much will the A100 cost? We caused quite a bit of commotion online recently as we were one of the first vendors to release a price for the GPU. Excluding VAT, these are up on our online store now for £8,299, which is just over $10,000. The cards currently have an ETA of around late August. If you click the link in the top left, you can have a look for yourself. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.